when you get a, a group of dogs that can run together, I mean synchronized, so that every limb is moving exactly the same along a group of 14 or 16 dogs, it is literally living, breathing, moving art. It's like poetry in motion. And they, when you, when you experience that, it, it's, it's like experiencing a symphony or an opera. It, it moves you. Once you, you see that and you realize what they're capable of, I think you, you can't get enough of that. You know, when we first started racing, um, diarrhea was always an issue every single year for our team and for every other team. You have teams coming from all over the world um, and they are traveling, so they're stressed. And also they're bringing with them novel pathogens, bacteria and viruses that, that the other teams haven't been exposed to. A lot of the studies that we do when we're looking at this stress model is to measure actually the types of bacteria that are there and the concentration of each type of bacteria. And it's really important that everything stays in balance. You can think of it like any other community. If, if one group gets too powerful or too large, they disturb the other groups and disturb the balance and, and cause disorder. And it's the same thing in the gut. But ever since we've been doing studies with probiotics and specifically with um, Ford Flora, we have not had to take one dog out of training or racing for diarrhea for the last seven years. And that's made a huge impact on our performance. And I can honestly say, I think we're the only team, the level of competition that we're racing at that can say that. By feeding probiotics, good bacteria, what you do is help reestablish a better balance and the gut functions better and everybody's happy.